I, I want to keep fighting. You know what I'm saying? I want to keep fighting. I got I got my eye on a couple guys. You know, one fight. See, one thing is that when 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 um, when Jacobs when Jacobs was talking crazy and he was saying I chose you and he was you know had this arrogance like you know like he's the big shot calling calling fights. I had options. I literally had a fight offered to me with Mungia. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I had another option. I had, you know, um, Eddie reached out to me about Billy Joe Saunders, which is a world title fight. So, you know, I told, I told Eddie I want Jacobs, you know. Um, and then we were in the talks with the Mungia fight as well. His camp called me. Like, it was, it was going to happen. But I went to Jacobs' fight. So he was talking crazy, and I was letting him talk how he wanted, but I had options. I could have went a different route. I think the fight that, you know, is possible is me and Mungia. You know, um, Mungia came off a good knockout. You know, I'm coming off a, a good boxing performance with Jacobs. And, you know, it's a fight that I think I think styles make fights. I think that's, that, that style would be a clash. Another one is Demetrius Andrade. Mm -hmm. You know, I think me and Demetrius Andrade would be a great fight. You know, so we're we going to see how it works. But then again, you know, you got Demetrius Andrade, who's a title holder at 68, and, you know, he wants Canelo. I guess my question that I'm trying to ask you, how are you planning on winning knowing that the oh. judges do what they do constantly with you? You know what? I, I got to do what I do. Look, this is one thing that, this is one thing that, I, that I'm doing is I'm reinventing myself. So that whole shit of the blood, gut, sweat, and you know what I mean? All that crazy shit where, oh, Gabriel's out of bleeds and Gabriel's out of cuts. And get, look, man, I haven't got cut in six years. People are still stuck on the Golovkin fight. People are still stuck on the uh, uh, Peter Quillen fight. You know, fights with Charlo, fights that happened back in 2013, 2014. In order for me to keep on doing what I'm doing, I have to, re I have to uh, apply the fundamentals, the basics, and the boxing ability that I have and my boxing IQ. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not just going to go in there and go crazy. I'm going I'm to set things up. I'm going to set that jab up. I'm going to set the hook up. I'm going to fight smart as chess. I mean, I'm going to be entertaining, but I'm going to do it in a smart way, right? The, if the judges aren't giving me my credit for my boxing ability, then I can't. What, what can I do? Knock out. I can't, I'm not going to, but I'm not going to chase my style. I'm not going to, I'm not going to chase that because one thing is you can't chase a knockout. Chasing a knockout is like a baseball player going up to the plate and chasing a home run. If you're swinging for the fences, most likely you're going to strike out because the home run comes to the hitter. Most 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 uh, baseball players that hit home runs, they're just trying to get contact, and there it goes, right? So that's the same thing with boxing. Boxing is you're letting the shots go. Obviously, you want to hurt your opponent. You want to knock out your opponent, but it got to happen on its own because once you're chasing that knockdown, then you're stuck. It was like, it's like Jacobs. Jacobs was chasing the knockout. And what happened? He was stuck the whole fight because he couldn't find the punch because I never gave it to him because I knew all he was doing was trying to load up on me. So the whole time I was, I was baiting him, I feigned him, hit him, feigned him, hit him. You know what I'm saying? So he was stuck. For me to force myself to go chase a knockout or, ch or, or, or force a war, that's playing into the hands of the judges and they're setting me up for, you know, giving myself a, where I could, I could get hurt or I could get knocked, I could get knocked out because I'm chasing a knockout. You know what I mean? So I'd rather fight smart. I think, I think after this fight with Jacobs, though, I think a lot of people um, realize that I have boxing ability, and a lot of people were surprised. And I think now maybe the narrative changes where now the, the, the judges or whatever understand that like, I can box and give me more credit for it. More credit, but is it enough to win? That's what I'm trying to say. Because you said yeah. I changed my style. You know, I'm trying to really like be new, give yeah. Rosado kind of refreshed. So you're planning on fighting, yeah. but if it's going to be same thing, fight after fight, when yeah. you want, everybody thinks yeah. you want great well, people. Well, you know, it's funny. It's funny not to cut you off. I'm sorry, but it's funny. All the fights that I box, I get cheated. So when I went to Liverpool and I boxed Mar Murray, I got cheated. They called the fight. Um, what was the name of the fight that they called it? Something like Beautiful Brutality or some crazy shit, you know, because they wanted the, the, the war. I went in there and I boxed his ass, but they don't give it to me. Mm -hmm. Same thing with, you know, uh, J. Leon Love. Boxed him, they didn't give it to me. Uh, or, or Quillen. Every time I went into a fight and I used my boxing ability, you know, I think they always expect me to go in there and just brawl. But, you know what I mean? Like, 
a fight can still be entertainment. Like Lumacheco is a technician. Why is Lumacheco praised when he boxes? Uh, Andre Ward, a guy who I look up to, you know, one of my favorite fighters, he's praised when he boxes. You know what I'm saying? There's certain guys that they're praised when they box. But it happened to you that one after another fight, they would give you a loss, a loss, a loss. At the time when you have a few losses already, they kind of like, okay, we're, we're going to give it to this guy because it's yeah. going to be easier to set up other fights. Mm -hmm. So from where you stand right now, I think it's like so hard yeah. to convince everybody. You have fun, you yeah. have people. And especially well, after the yeah. last fight, a lot of people are like, give him a chance, give him a chance. But then I'm afraid because the judges might do well, the same thing I to think, you. I think that's the, the beauty of social media. And I mean, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. And at the end of the day, the fans are gonna know what's up. So, you know, I can't, I can't force myself to do anything else because then that puts me in a vulnerable position where like I'm, I'm, I'm making it easier for the other dude to touch me. Like if I went into the Jacobs fight and I, went, and I went in reckless and I just went in there trying to just go blow for blow for Jacobs, what am I doing? I'm giving Jacobs the only opportunity he has to possibly land a big shot and hurt me. Or I'm giving him an opportunity, to, you know, where we can clash heads and now, now, now a headbutt, I'm cut or whatever, right? But if I go into that fight and I can outsmart him, and I could, and I could box him and I could touch him, why not? You know what I'm saying? I and if the judges don't give me my credit, I mean, then it is what it is. Trust me, it sucks because you know, I feel like I want my just dues. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to be acknowledged as a fighter. This that continues to grow, continues to get better, and we're like, you know, I'm getting the credit for it. But, you know, it just is boxing is just a funny sport, you know, it's interesting. We still gonna keep it going. You know, I'm I'm still like I feel, you know, my last fight I felt great. You know, I felt fresh. I didn't I didn't get hurt. So I think like I said, a fight with Mungia or Andrade I think is a great fight to come back, you know, starting in 2021.